In laundry, foam can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how much there is and when in the washing cycle it occurs. For the consumer, foam is a signal that the detergent is working. However, foam levels that are too high can actually reduce cleaning efficiency. Excessive foam in the washer can lead to spills, odors, longer cycle times, machine stops, and damage. Consequently, detergent producers must carefully manage the foam their products generate, a task made more challenging by the fact that different washing machines produce different amounts of foam. Front-loading machines are designed to wash clothes effectively with minimal water, benefiting the environment and the consumer's water bill. Unfortunately, these types of high-efficiency machines also tend to generate more foam than traditional top loaders that have been standard in the USA. Left uncontrolled, foam quickly fills the machine and remains through the rinse cycle, possibly leaving a residue on the clothing. Some machines detect excessive foam and automatically add rinsing steps, which extends total washing time and consumes more water. However, use of a foam control agent will manage the foam level and align it with consumer expectations. Let's look at some of the foam control solutions available today, starting with silicones. Silicone foam control has been used successfully in detergents for more than 25 years. Foam generated by detergents can be challenging to manage because the foam lamella are stabilized by high surface elasticity and viscosity imparted by surfactant molecules. Silicone foam control agents have low surface and interfacial tension, enabling them to enter and bridge the foam lamella. The lamella are destabilized, causing rapid drainage of the surfactant, leading to thinning and ultimate collapse of the foam. Silicone anti-foams for liquid laundry detergents are complex blends of specialty siloxane polymers and treated particles. There are many ways to adjust the characteristics of these compounds to deliver the desired foam control performance. Polymer rheology, functionality, end blocking, particle treatment, and processing all can be tailored to meet specific needs. This is important since there is no universal foam control solution for every situation. Proper delivery of the silicone anti-foam to the detergent is crucial to effective foam control in the washing machine. Several delivery options are available, including silicones encapsulated with solid detergent compatible ingredients for use in powdered detergents, and a range of anti-foams for liquid detergents, including aqueous emulsions with preset particle size, as well as readily dispersable 100% active silicone concentrates. A specific stabilization system is often required for silicone anti-foams used in liquid detergents, so it's important to choose one that is designed especially for the application. The traditional way of controlling foam in liquid detergents is with fatty acids, or soap, such as coconut fatty acid or oleic acid. The fatty acid complexes with metal cations in the washer to form insoluble species and disrupt the foam. The level of fatty acids required to control foam is typically 2 to 5% in the liquid detergent. A proper balance of hydrotropes and solvents is usually needed to incorporate the fatty acid into isotropic heavy-duty laundry detergents. Additionally, these materials can be subject to price volatility and a long supply chain. To determine how silicone foam control agents and fatty acids compare in terms of foam control performance, we developed a prototype liquid detergent. Detergent A, our benchmark, contained 2% coconut fatty acid, while detergent B replaced the 2% fatty acid with 2 tenths of a percent of silicone antifoam. We tested these formulations in a high efficiency washing machine using a surfactant concentration of 240 parts per million in the main wash and water softened to zero grains per gallon hardness. The detergent containing 2% coconut fatty acid was very effective in optimizing and controlling the level of foam. But the two silicone anti-foams tested also provided effective foam control at only 10% of the fatty acid concentration. Let's look at some potential advantages of silicone foam control. A little silicone goes a very long way. Because they are highly effective at low dosage levels, silicone antifoams can lower raw material requirements, a potential cost savings. 
using less anti-foam also frees up more space in the formulation for the addition of performance-enhancing, market-differentiating ingredients. Plus, silicone anti-foams are less susceptible to market, supply, and pricing volatility than some fatty acids, which can reduce business and performance risks. Replacing soap with silicone antifoams enables more compact formulations, which can yield big advantages for detergent manufacturers, consumers, retailers, and the environment. Compaction can reduce the amount of water in liquid detergents, enabling smaller dosages, smaller packages, and the development of convenient, no-mess unit dose products. Taking the water out of detergents makes them less heavy, bulky, and costly to ship, saving both money and energy. Smaller packages containing the power to wash more loads can greatly reduce packaging waste. This also can make a big impact on retail shelves, enabling retailers to sell more of manufacturers' products in the same space.